Today's topic is how we made over $2,000 from a $7 book in four days. Now, this isn't uh, not some get-rich-quick internet guru, uh, how I made $25 in five seconds or, or anything like that. This is much more realistic, and uh, as James is going to uh, explain, it's about turning your customers into buyers. James? Boy. Customers into buyers, cl- you know, prospect into buyers. There we go. Oh, there we go. Some terms, I do know what I meant. I know. Carry on. No, it's exactly <laughs> this. So yeah. So again, I'm going to caveat this: is that uh, you need to have an email list of X number of people. So we had 37,000 people on that email list that are active. Culled down from 110,000 who weren't active, and we've done that over the last couple of months. So that's really important to state that if you haven't got a list of that size, you may not get the same results. However, you could get similar results in other ways and it's not about making a lot of money straight away from this so seven dollar book into two thousand dollars sales it's one objective and that is to convert leads prospects into buyers to change that relationship from people into buyers with you so they get comfortable with maybe spending more money further and later down the line because it's like a ladder it's like a ladder system like step by step by step once you pop you can't stop it starts off with a low ticket offer seven dollars is, is about right and then $7 could turn to a $37 product and it can turn later down the line to potential ongoing personal training. And that's one of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of people do is they try and offer and pitch training first as opposed to a low ticket offer. So some kind of special deal to get people to know, like and trust you first and to have that relationship go, yeah, do you know what? I feel comfortable with spending money with these guys. So the value of that at $7 is not about making a load of money. You know, yes, for the influencers who have millions of subscribers, they'll make some money off it, but that's not realistic. That's not realistic and not what we want to do. We're professional coaches. So the idea is to turn this $7 product and somebody's feeling comfortable saying, do you know what? I want to train with these guys. These guys are pretty cool. The product looks good. I like it. Let's make this happen. So it's that comfort and uh, balance building over it. So what we did is was this. We created a training plan. Now, we know that training plans go down really well. People love training plans. They, well, they, they jump around like crazy. The tra- coaches and trainers want to see what other people are doing. And we know it's a popular item. It's one of our most popular items. So we created a $7 book, right? Dis- discounted on Black Friday, like the pre-Black Friday week. And we sold it. But we only sold about $800 worth of that book. What we did is we had other books saying, hey, would you like to buy these other books too? And we had a system in place. It's what we call a funnel. So it's different from a website. A website is uh, it sits on your on your computer on your your space. It attracts people in. It's targeted for Google. It works well to tell people about you. A funnel is a dedicated page is where it leads people down a specific path. Whether it's an opt in to like some gated content like a lead magnet or a sales page, and that's what we did. So we sold one specific product, and we asked them, "Hey, would you like to have a book, an extra book to go with it?" And it, some of them said yes, some of them said no. And then we had on the upsell thank you page, we, had, we gave them an offer to go, hey, would you like our other best-selling books, our other training plan, our other nutrition book and our assessment book for $37? And that's what took us to $2,000. It was a simple three-page setup funnel that we did a presentation actually on, and it's actually on Google, uh, Google and YouTube. So if you want to see the whole presentation of this, it's now uploaded onto the YouTube, and you can go through it in depth and see it properly there. So I highly recommend doing that to go through the step-by-step process and what we did and how we did and how you create your own. But that's the purpose. Can we share the link to that in the yes. show notes as well? Yeah, we'll share that. Make sure that's shared in the, in the show notes so that you guys can see it. But that's important to understand the theory behind it. It wasn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It was to, to create a list of prospects who hadn't bought with us from, from us before into a list of people who have bought from us to change that dynamic relationship, to wow them, to hopefully give them the chance to come and work with us at a later date, whether it's in terms of website design or whether it's in terms of coaching, whichever it is, we're here to help them further down the line, basically. Yeah. Andrew, what's your, uh, outside of Strength Matters, obviously, because you were in on this, with uh, with sales funnels and tripwires and all these fancy words? <laughs> Yeah, um, turning it and focusing it on what our listeners can do. Um, The way I work with clients and the way I've I've worked myself is that ultimately my number one marketing strategy is building my email list. You know, as James says, that's a a key uh, marketing asset that that we have. But 
that alone doesn't generate revenue, as, as we're saying. So we need to take those prospects and lead them into becoming buyers, as James mentioned. So using a training plan is something I've used in the past. Um, I've had clients have put together um, checklists, cheat sheets, um, meal plans, you know, nutrition recipe books uh, are all great. You know, shaking the tree and getting some people to take action. And that's helpful for, you know, just moving the needle slightly to, to then them realizing, actually, this is good info. Uh, actually, I do have an issue I need to overcome. Oh, hang on a minute. There's a, there's a, there's a follow-up email here inviting me into a, a strategy call that, they, uh, that, the, that they're going to work one-on-one with me. So that's a process that I generally take as a, as a fitness professional in, in, in this in, in this outline that we're discussing. And, it is, and, and people can create them simply. If they, you all have training plans. You're just going to know the system. That was going to be my, do it. My, my question, because obviously we've had, we've got a lot of content created over many, many years. If someone wants a fairly quick win, uh, yeah, well, what, what can you do? Obviously, training plan, pretty easy to, to create. Most trainers have got training plans. Hey, guys, very simply, buy hours and model that concept. Like, it sounds ridiculous. Like it sounds for seven dollars, it sounds ridiculous, but like you like what we call like hacking our systems, and you're hacking our model of doing it, and it's it's ethically fine. I'm okay with it. If you look at that, so if you get one of our books, seven dollars, and you look at the format, you got what you tend to have is a front cover, you have an inside cover, you have the bump about copyright and stuff like this, you have an introduction, then you have like recommended equipment, and then you have the training plan. So you have that in place. That's it. That is, what, that is what you do. And you can create a plan. If you get it in your head right, you can create it in less than half a day. And then what you need to do then is find a designer to start doing this here. Now, we're actually opening up our designers to the world within Strength Matters in the next couple of weeks anyway. So the idea is if you want a designer that's trusted and we know works well and provides great quality designs, well, speak to us. We can maybe point you in the right direction. But the point is, that's all this. And once you have that framework done once, it becomes cheaper. So... Initially, it's going to cost you about with a with a good designer from Upwork or some other places, some other freelance networks like that. It's going to cost you about two hundred dollars to begin with. If you get if you choose right, there are more expensive ones, but about two hundred dollars about right. So you are upfront up and cost one. But for future ones, it's going to cost you less. So you can then start creating this model at the same time. But change a few colours, change a few words. Bob's your uncle. You, away you go. So it becomes then more like a $75 upfront cost for design. So yes, you're upfront, but long term, it's there with you forever and you can keep selling it. So that's what, it, that's what our cost for us is. So you've, got to have a, you've got to have a little uh, up, a decent upsell, a decent trip bar as well though, right? Yeah, you do, but it takes time. Don't do it straight away. So you want to have is like, you create one and go to his thank you page to begin with. That's fine. But then when you build a second one, the second one becomes a trip wire. And it can go yeah. for like for an extra fourteen dollars, and then the other one becomes then you get two on the other on the upsell page afterwards. So take time. Don't think you need to build five or six pieces of content at once. Build one, yeah. start from there, and it becomes evergreen. And don't be afraid to repurpose this every six months because people forget about it. And don't and don't be worried if it doesn't sell initially either, because we discovered this, didn't we, James? We created the, our nutrition book, which we thought we put so we did put a hell of a lot of work into that book. How many pages is it? Two hundred or something? Two hundred and forty. Yeah, and we thought, oh, people want this will sell like wildfire. Nope, tumbleweed. Uh, but it does work as an upsell. It does work very well as an upsell. So there you go. Exactly. So it's there's so many different parts of that. But again, it's it's just the idea of like what I want people to get away from today's episode is this: is that you want to sell a low product offer. Now it could be a book, it could be an event, it could be something. But you need to change that relationship with people from a prospect to somebody who's a buyer. Because you want an email list and customer database of buyers, not prospects. And you want to get people and transfer them as fast as you possibly can. Educate them, inform them, move the ladder here. Because they're the ones who can be most engaged. And that's the important part for your business going forward. There we go. Uh, take our content and uh, steal it. There you go. That's, uh, that's the moral of the story today. <laughs> That is it for today. Please don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. And if you want to find out what's holding you back from growing your fitness business, get yourself a free website audit by going to strengthmatters.com forward slash audit.